The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is the first smartphone on the planet to use a silicon oxygen anode battery which is apparently a lot thinner and faster to charge than a typical lithium ion battery. That battery inside the Mi 11 Ultra has a capacity of 5000mAh and can be charged at a maximum wattage of 67. And today it goes up against the OnePlus 9 Pro which has a slightly smaller battery at 4500mAh and 65 watt warp charging. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the same size cell as the Mi 11 Ultra at 5000 milliamps, but much slower charging at 25 watts. And finally the iPhone 12 Pro Max which has the smallest battery and slowest charging of the bunch at just 3687 milliamps and 20 watts respectively. Can the Mi 11 Ultra charge faster than the latest flagship from OnePlus and how much faster is its charging speed when compared to the most popular premium devices from Samsung and Apple? This is Technic and without further ado, let's find out. Before we get going here, it's worth checking out the temperature of all devices before we pop them all into charge. They're all pretty much sitting at room temperature here at about 22 degrees in Celsius. Right at the top, we have the phone branding. Underneath that, we have the battery percentage, which is in relation to the time interval at the top right-hand corner. After six minutes, we have 20% on the Mi 11 Ultra, 17% on the OnePlus 9 Pro, 9% on the Samsung, and 10% on the iPhone. Surprisingly, beating the Samsung over here, though, it does have a much smaller battery and only slightly slower charging. I have made sure to set all battery optimizations, if any, on all four devices off at the current point in time, well, since we started the test here, so that they can charge their fastest possible rates. After 10 minutes, we have 33% on the Mi 11 Ultra, beating that is the OnePlus 9 Pro with 34%, 18% on the Samsung, now 1% ahead of the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 17%. After 15 minutes, we have 47% on the Xiaomi, which is now 6% behind the OnePlus device, 27% on the Samsung, 26%, Samsung still in the lead of the iPhone on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, with the coolest so far after the last interval being the iPhone and the hottest, including the hottest peak being the Mi 11 Ultra and coolest peak being on the iPhone. After 20 minutes, 62% on the Mi 11 Ultra, 8% behind the OnePlus 9 Pro now, 36% on the S21 Ultra, now pulling 2% ahead of the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 34%. After 25 minutes, we have 73% on the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, 86% now, a 13% lead over the Xiaomi is the OnePlus, 46% on the Samsung now with a 4% lead over the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Nearing that 30 minute mark interval, can any of them clock out? Unfortunately, no. 84% on the Xiaomi, 96% on the OnePlus about to clock out 56% on the Samsung 51% now 5% behind the Samsung is the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the coolest device now being the OnePlus 9 Pro and after just 33 minutes warp charge 65 0 to 100% on the OnePlus 9 Pro placing first over here what a fantastic timed results with that pretty big 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And not long after that, the Mi 11 Ultra clocks out zero to hundred percent in 39 minutes. It doesn't have the same percentage per minute as the OnePlus 9 Pro. And it's milliamp hour per minute reading isn't as good as the OnePlus 9 Pro. And it did have a higher peak temp and end temp compared to the OnePlus. But you got to remember that the Xiaomi device has a much bigger battery, 500 milliamp hours more than the OnePlus device over here. After 45 minutes on the Samsung, we have 82%, 73% on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, Samsung pulling quite a bit ahead now. And if you look at the first 50% on the Xiaomi and the OnePlus device, they were pretty similar at 16 minutes and 14 minutes respectively, with the Xiaomi just having around four milliamp hours per minute charge rate faster than that of the Xiaomi. But it is also interesting to note that the Xiaomi has faster 67 watt charging as opposed to the 65 watt charging on the OnePlus device. After one hour and nine minutes, the Samsung says, cool, well, I'm done two over here. That's not too bad for a capacity of 5,000 milliamps, but the Xiaomi has the same size cell. But remember the Samsung is charging at a rate of just 25 watts as opposed to the 67 watts on the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. So if you look at it from that way, then you're not really seeing too much of a big trade-off over here. Though I guess 30 minutes for some is still quite a beefy one. I think the first 50% is the most important here, 60 minutes on the Xiaomi as opposed to 27 minutes on the Samsung. The iPhone is still not going anywhere. After an hour and 10 minutes, we had 91%. It usually finishes around here, one hour and 40 minutes, but that is not the case. And I can assure you guys that the battery optimizations is indeed off. It's not charging slower after 80%. Well, it is because it's an iPhone, but not because the option is enabled. After one hour and 52 minutes, it finally says, okay, well, I have come across the finish line very slowly, that is with the smallest battery and 20 watt charging is not exactly 
much slower than the Samsung, but the time gap is massive. Fourth place over here, the iPhone 12 Pro Max doing it in one hour and 52 minutes with 20 watts charging and a 3687 milliamp hour battery. Much larger battery than that, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra comes in third, a lot quicker, one hour and nine minutes, like I said, much bigger battery, 5,000 milliamps, not much faster charging at 25 watts. Second place, we have the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, not quite as fast as its predecessor, the Mi 10 Ultra, but 39 minutes, zero to 100 is still phenomenal. 67 watt charging, same size battery as the Samsung. First place, the Crown King so far out of these premium devices is the OnePlus 9 Pro, 33 minutes, zero to 100%, 65 watt charging, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, so its batteries aren't quite as big as the Xiaomi and Samsung, but the charging is certainly quicker. Looking at the milliamp hour per minute reading when it comes from zero to 100%. And looking at the first 50% milliamp hour per minute reading, there's not a massive difference between the Xiaomi and the OnePlus, just a two minute difference over there. But the Samsung doing 50% in 27 minutes and the iPhone doing 50% in 29 minutes. So the Samsung and iPhone are pretty neck and neck within the first 50%, but the iPhone's last 5% did a rate of just 5.8 milliamp hours per minute. And its total charge did 32.9 milliamp hours per minute, making it the worst and the best being the OnePlus with one 136.4 milliamp hours per minute. Not far behind that is of course the Xiaomi with 128. And then right in the middle of the pack is the Samsung with 72 milliamp hours per minute. The hottest device over here when it comes to ending off and the peak temperature was the Xiaomi with 44 and 47.1 degrees respectively. The coolest end was the iPhone since it took so darn long to reach the end point. Dropped down to 27.4 degrees in Celsius. And the coolest peak surprisingly is the device that placed first which is the OnePlus 9 Pro with a peak of just 40 four degrees in Celsius, though not too far behind that was of course the iPhone. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. A sub to the channel would be epic. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.